Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the 8HP 7D. Today I'm going to show you what it takes to repin a few of the wires on the PCS harness. It's the main plug that goes into the actual module. One of the reasons we need to do this is to make it so our shifter lights dim when the actual lights on the Jeep turn on or off, like this. And then along with that, I'm going to be showing you how to add extra digital inputs into the PCS harness. Quick shout out to Michael Gibbs for doing the legwork, figuring out that uh, digital input 12 is what is needed to be changed to actually dim these lights. So thank you for that. There are a couple of uh, digital inputs that are not wired up. There's actually only one digital input that is actually wired up, and that is the brake switch. So that is the wire that we can use for our uh, sport mode, because we don't use the brake switch, so that's the only one that's actually wired into a digital input. So what I am doing today is wiring up a couple more digital inputs, that way I can have some uh, some control for some of the extra features you can do. One of the ones that we're going to be doing is the uh, digital input 12 for controlling the actual light of the uh, shifter. So let's go over what it takes to repin this plug. To get to the actual connector, you gotta take off this first cover piece. And you can pry it off. And then you need to undo the zip tie. And then you have to take off this blue little cover. I think there's a very specific way that you have to do that. I might have just taken a screwdriver and did a little bit of prying. Probably not the best, but that's the way I did it. I'll post a link up in the uh, description of the video that shows very specific details on uh, removing the uh, little blue cover and kind of removing any of the pins. All right, so I have taken it apart and I've realized you can't pull the wires back out. So we won't be able to actually pull out the actual plugs and use them like in stock length. We're going to have to cut them and pull them out this way because this big, uh, the actual connector does not pull out on this side. So we can look here at this wiring uh, schematic. There is the uh, reverse lights. That is the pink with red tracer, and that goes all the way to socket 54. So we are gonna start with that one. Definitely do this at your own discretion. So this is the pink with the red tracer. So nothing on this farther side of the wire will be power will be uh, powered and then we can take and we got one wire out so we will go into digital input number two there's no wire in there so it's socket number three. It'll be right next to the uh, gray and black wire. So that would be this gray and black wire. Socket number three, we can take out this little 
little plug, save it because we will use it for the other, to put back in the other one. It's like a little dust cover. So we can put this right back in the hole that we took out. Wire should shove in here. A little bit of resistance. Just spin it a little. And it's going. And match it up so it's oriented the same as the other wires. And there you have it. We wired up another input. So let's look at what we can take off again. So we'll just give another another example. Speed out. We don't use the speed out. So that's an orange and white. Speed out, orange, white. That is number 17. So it's going to be this guy right here. 1, 2, 3, 14, 15, 16, 17. We'll just keep on going down the line to add a couple of these inputs. Okay, so I got two extra inputs already. So I finished uh, moving some of the wires around. I provided about four digital inputs. So I made sure to wire one into digital input 12. That way I have a uh, switch off the key to dim the actual lights on the shifter. All right, so next we need to pull up the PCS software. We've got it connected to the USB. We will read our calibration and then go to software setup tuning mode advanced and then hardware setup Digital inputs, invert button logic. Okay. Input 12 is the one that uh, sets up the actual brightness of the shifter. So you can see here when I in invert input number 12, it changes the actual brightness of the shifter. So let's say you don't want to deal with all the wiring. You can actually go in and invert input number 12. But if you do want to do the wiring, then you will just attach a positive to input number 12. So let's give that a try. You also want to go to the uh, digital input function assignment and make sure that digital input 12 has disabled selected 
whether you're going to do it hardwired or do it only by uh, inverting input 12. Either way, you want input 12 disabled. So I was able to add power to input 12 and it was dimming the actual uh, shifter. The only issue is when you try to use the wires that came from the, uh, the lights that activate when you turn on the lights for like the NAG1 shifter, um, when you dim them too much, it lowers the voltage to where it doesn't actually get activated or there's not enough voltage to uh, activate the switch in the PCS software. So the only wire that I was able to actually find that is a constant 12 volts when the lights are turned on is for the tail lights in the rear. On my Jeep, which is a 2013 JK Rubicon or JKU, one of the tail light uh, wires is a white with a purple tracer. So what we need to do is run this wire, tap into it, and bring it up over here and wire it into input number, digital input number 12. All right, so here you can see I've got three extra digital inputs. I've got them written down on the schematics, which goes or which color goes to which, and then I have it wired coming out the side here. That way I can kind of play around and see what uh, what other options we can uh, do with this transmission. Kept digital input one under the actual. Uh, plastic here that way it can be for my uh, sport mode and then digital input 12 I have wired up to the lights right. once you're done here you can put this blue piece back on All right, now we got the shifter put back together I have it in the manual mode just for some testing that I'm doing but turn the lights on it's nice and dim. And then I have these wires out here if I want to do uh, some more testing on uh, different calibrations. So, again, thanks for watching and enjoy making some changes to your transmission.